hello all welcome back to my youtube channel in uh, today's video i'll talk about how to create ar credit memo and then apply to an ar invoice so you need to log into any of your receivables uh, supervisor responsibility so in my current example, I logged into accounts receivable supervisor Reliance Telecom UST. So Reliance Telecom is my operating unit. So that's the naming convention. So navigate to transactions, transactions. So there are different ways of creating a credit memo. One way is to go to the transaction workbench, create a credit memo, and then apply this particular credit memo to an, a, any of the existing invoice or query of, uh, for the invoice and then click on uh, actions and then credit to and then you can create a credit memo from the from that screen so i'll show you both the ways of creating a credit memo so first first way would be like first i'll try to create a invoice and from the invoice uh, screen i'll show you how to create a credit memo against the particular invoice so let me select the transaction source I'm just trying to create an invoice. So transition class is invoice type manual invoice. Let me select a customer. I'll try to create a invoice for 150,000. And uh, here's the task calculated. Let me close this. Click on complete button. So you have an invoice for $165,000. Now click on actions, credit. So when you click on actions, credit, system is trying to create a credit memo against this particular invoice. So a credit memo will be created and applied again and applied for this particular invoice so both the uh, actions will be taken care by the system so as soon as you click on actions credit to your source is defaulted transaction source from the original invoice the transaction source is defaulted enter the credit memo transaction type manual credit memo and as far as the credit memo is concerned you can create a credit memo for the partial invoice amount or full invoice amount and again you have an option whether you want to create a credit memo for just the lines or lines and tax or only the tax portion so i'll just select line and tax and i want to create a credit memo for only say 80 percent so here you can see 80 percent of your invoice line amount and tax amount will be credited once you have entered this 80 percent save this and click on complete button so you can see a credit memo number 10283 got created so if you requery of this particular invoice we'll be able to see the balance being reduced by uh, 132,000. so let me requery this invoice control f11 control f11 let me just close and reopen the screen. And also close this. F4. F11. Query for my transaction number. This is my original transaction number. And you would click on details. You can see a credit memo of 132,000 got reduced from the original invoice outstanding balance now the invoice outstanding balance is thirty three thousand dollars so if you want to see the credit memo which is created against this particular invoice you can click on actions installments activities details so this is how you can see the credit memo which is created against that particular original invoice and within the credit memo you have when you click on the reference information you have the original 
invoice number again space this particular credit memo is applied and now again from this particular invoice uh, credit memo screen, if you want to go back to the invoice workbench what you can do is uh, or rather the invoice original invoice so you can click on actions installments activities and invoice so you can see the details of the invoice again with this particular credit memo is actually applied so this is the one way of creating a credit memo i'll also show you the other way the other way would be maybe close all the screen transactions transactions try to create a credit memo standalone that is without the, uh, going to the invoice uh, uh, or without querying for the existing invoice and trying to click on actions credit to you can just try to create a standalone credit memo and then you can apply this particular credit memo to any of the existing open invoices of that customer so select the transaction source transaction class credit memo transaction type manual credit memo enter the customer name line items maybe any description quantity and this being a credit memo obviously your unit should be in negative so i just want to enter say maybe thousand dollars save this the system will automatically calculate the tax on this credit memo Anyways, I can go back to the screen and click on complete. So here you can see a credit memo for eleven hundred dollars is created. Now it's not applied to any invoice. Now if I want to apply this particular credit memo to the invoice, you can click on actions, applications, click on this drop down. Now here you will be able to see all the open invoices of this particular customer against which. You can apply this credit memo. You can apply this credit memo to any of these open invoices. Uh, let me pick up this invoice and I'll try to apply this. Apply it will be defaulted to the system date. Click on save. So then now you require this credit memo, and then you should be able to see this reference information. F11, enter your credit memo number and then control F11. Okay, I don't know why it's not showing. Anyways, if you want to see that uh, information, you can go to this installments, activities. So this is how you can see the original invoice number against which this particular credit memo is applied. Now coming back to the accounting entries. Let me close this invoice screen. Go back to the credit memo. So this is the credit memo. And if you want to see the accounting entry, click on tools, create accounting. Maybe we'll go for draft accounting. Your accounting entry will be your revenue or tax account will be debited and your receivable account will be credited. It is exactly opposite of your invoice. So generally, when you create your invoice, your general entry will be your receivable account will be debited and your revenue and tax account will be credited. But whereas when you create your credit memo, revenue and tax will be debited and your receivables will be credited. Tools view accounting. So if you look at this particular part, rather the last three lines, receivable account is uh, revenue and tax is debited and receivable account is credited. And as far as these two lines are concerned, here you can see the receivable account is debited and credited. Same account is debited. This, this being, the reason for this is basically you have applied your credit memo to the invoice. So when you apply your credit memo to the invoice, the receivable account of the invoice will be credited and uh, the receivable account of your credit memo will be debited so in this example as the receivable account is same in both the 
uh, your uh, invoice and credit mo you are not able to see any specific uh, significance of this but if you for some reason if you use a different receivable account in credit memo then you will be able to see a difference here so let me just go back to this uh, credit memo generally whenever you try to create a credit memo against invoice you use the same uh, accounting entries of your uh, original invoice so there's a profile option once you set the particular profile option system will use the same accounting uh, code combinations of your invoice to your credit memo but you can very well go to the uh, what do you call the distributions and change those uh, details before you run your uh, create accounting okay and as uh, in this case as we have already run the create accounting uh, and also the invoice is incomplete and uh, status and as the create accounting is already run system is not allowing us to change this so let me try to create an another credit memo And now change the receivable account instead of one two one zero. Maybe let me try to use uh, maybe one two one two. Okay, now go to add tools, create accounting, draft accounting. So I have not yet applied this particular credit memo to any invoice and check the accounting entry now. See your revenue and tax is debited, receivable account is credited. Okay, with uh, your receivable account is one to one to. Now try to apply this particular credit memo to any invoice, and then again run the create accounting and uh, check the accounting entry. Then actions applications. Maybe I'll try to apply to this invoice. Sales. And now tools create accounting again draft accounting Looks like it got stuck. Maybe I need to close the screen and uh, reopen. I need to close this. Go to task manager. Kill this session. Let me clear cache and cookies and then retry. Okay, let's go back to our receivables and um, pick up the credit memo which we have created.
Okay, I don't remember the creep number. Anyways, we can try once again. Manual credit memo. Let's change the receivable account to one to one to. Let's complete this. Create accounting before applying of this uh, credit memo to any invoice. I'm just again just showing the same steps again. Yeah, revenue and uh, tax for debited and receivable credited. Now try to apply this credit memo to a uh, invoice and then try to do the create accounting once again Sales. this is the outstanding balance of this particular original invoice after applying of this 1650 okay now we have applied the uh, credit memo to this invoice now again once again run the create accounting okay now check the accounting entry once again so here you can see this this first two lines got created now so here you can see now the difference so this is the receivable account which got debited this is the receivable account of the credit memo and this is the receivable account of the original invoice so the receivable account of the original invoice will be credited and the receivable account of the credit memo will be debited but of course in general in most of the cases we actually use the same receivable account in both the credit memo and the original invoice if that's the case these particular two lines do not have any financial impact because the same account gets debited and credited and you can just focus on on this line three lines wherein your revenue and tax will be debited and your receivable account will be credited as far as the credit memo is concerned so this is how you create a credit memo and apply it to a invoice thank you thanks for watching video for interesting videos and um, Oracle Financials, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.